So today I'm testing out the Victron Smart Battery Sense and uh, I'm using it with my Blue Solar MPPT 7515 solar controllers. Well, I'm using LiPo 4 and LiPo 4 um, has a very flat charge curve and it turns out that I'm getting about 200 millivolt difference between the battery and the MPPT uh, charge controllers, which is causing uh, them to undercharge my battery. So the Smart Battery Sense is a great product. It allows you to communicate your battery voltage to your MPPT controllers, which is a, a great thing. And, and what's better is you don't have to run wires for the sense wire. So I want to show you my problem and then uh, I'm going to discuss maybe some issues that you may have with Bluetooth that I've read about on Amazon and just kind of give you a, a full review. Uh, but I think you're going to like this product if you've got this problem. Okay, here's a YouTube video on my smart battery sense I got from uh, Amazon. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm bent, bench testing it um, and I'm using a constant current power supply set at 13.6 which approximates the voltage from the um, the batteries that I'm going to connect. So here's the battery, smart battery sense connected to uh, my power supply and uh, so what I have is both leads connected uh, through a voltmeter and so right now I'm reading point between 0.7 and 0.5 milliamps however when I go into a uh, voltage read mode um, I get about 1.7 milliamps so whenever your um, MPP controllers are talking via the B VE bus, you'll get um, about 1.7 uh, milliamps. And uh, so I think that's okay because when it's charging, that's gonna be what you're gonna be getting. So my situation is I have um, these uh, 7515 uh, Blue Solar um, charge controllers and I'm charging them with 100 amp um, or 100 watt panel, solar panels. Uh, and the distance between the chargers and the LiPo 4 battery is, is uh, a kind of, uh, it's maybe about 20 feet. But what's happening is I've got these both programmed. I've got both 13.85 and float at 13.85. And um, what's happening is it's reading it's uh, my true battery terminal voltage is 13.375 but um, if I if I look at the uh, the app on the charge controllers they say that I've got 13.56 um, so you know this this difference is a big deal when you're trying to top off the batteries uh, so how can we uh, get this these chargers to sense the right voltage. And if you have multiple chargers, you're probably gonna even have a bigger problem because they're both trying to put out 13, you know, they're influence, influencing the other's reading of the voltage. So how can we, what can we do? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this um, Victron Smart Battery Sense, and then they have a Bluetooth interface that um, that kind of creates a network. It's the VE network, VE smart network. That so both of these charge controllers are going to be able to read the correct uh, battery terminal voltage. Now the nice thing also is you can plug this thing in and give it power at home, and plug it into your Bluetooth at home uh, on your on your phone. And, and get the software update. There's a software update that kicks off when you when you fire this guy up. Now, 
it's not anywhere documented, but the code I think is four zeros, four zeros will get you in and this thing will update. And I'll show you a little bit more about the, um, about the problem and, and then, uh, you know, some testing. So I'm, uh, I had to crimp these uh, new connectors, these new heat shrink. Uh, these heat shrink I just had to put on here and I cut off um, this one right here and I use these crimpers and I'm going to um, and I've labeled the the connectors there's a red there's a black and red striped connector right there and a red one and I'm just gonna put the red one on positive and the black one on negative and we'll see how good the Bluetooth works so what would be a potential problem that this wouldn't work the system wouldn't work well it appears that on amazon there are people talking about the communication from the smart battery sense when using standard wiring uh, they didn't talk it didn't talk to the mpt mppt controllers uh, so but in my situation uh, i had 20 feet between these two things and everything worked out. However, when I positioned my smartphone right here, I had trouble reading the uh, Victron Smart Battery Sense. So I did notice that it was on the ragged edge with 20 feet, and I've got a water heater and stuff in here. And I don't know, I, I just took it out for one uh, one trip and it seems to work very well so it solved my problem of um, I had a, a difference in readings between 13.56 and uh, 13.375 185 millivolts of difference at, at, at you know at, at this voltage which in lipo 4 is a big deal but let's say you are going to have a problem with the Bluetooth, are you out of luck? And I'd say probably the answer would be most likely no. This wire here already has a fuse. I think it's about a 22 gauge wire. And you could extend this 20 feet. Now you would lose the temperature reading capability. But if you were to just extend this 20 feet, how much accuracy would you lose? How many millivolts would you give up? Well, I went to bestboatwire.com and used their calculator. 22 gauge wire with uh, um, roughly 2 milliamps. It's what I calculated that we were talking about. Um, I got 1 millivolt of drop. Um, so again, that's a pretty decent thing. The wire just drops at one millivolt and you can locate the wire all over. But if what happens if you kind of decided that you wanted to add a fuse? Well, let's, let's take this case where you were going to add a fuse, an additional fuse. A 3 amp fuse would introduce another 1.1 1 .1 ohms of drop. And that would... Uh, roughly equate to 30 millivolts of, um, of, of voltage drop using this Ohm's law formula. So you, I think you got to be very careful about adding another fuse here because you're going to maybe defeat uh, some of the, the benefits that you were expecting to gain here. And my voltage was just dead on. It, it was just dead on my my voltmeter the voltmeter here and 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 the um and the mpp controllers were just right on again i'm i'm a do it yourself guy i'm not an electrical engineer or a boat electrician so you might want to check my numbers out but i'm pretty happy with this well, i hope you like this video i know i've filming it on my iPhone, so it's not the best quality. I just try to do the best job I can of, you know, providing the information to you. So I apologize if I kind of shift things around. Also, I didn't give you much information on the app because it was on my iPhone, so I could film it very easily. But 
the interface to the app is really good. It's very easy to add the um, network for the um, smart battery sense. Um, and the other thing, it's easy to disconnect it. If you want, if you want, if you're doing multiple charge sources, like I have a Y connector where I charge lead acid sometimes with my solar and sometimes I add LIFO. And so um, it's, it's really easy to add um, the, you know, the network, the, the sense network and, and whatever. And the nicest thing, if you have to add another MPPT, you don't have to worry about it. You can just add the other MPPT and it'll join the, and you can join it to the network. So I really like this product and I hope um, this video is useful to you. See you on the next video.